And we got the Bell SRT Modulate Helmet right here. They do have a Panavision uh, Pro Tint Visor. Let's put it to the real test! Coolest part about this helmet is that you could just press this up. If you have a performance cup holder, then you can take a sip of your expensive coffee. A, it feels very, very plush. That's easy. <laughs> the video guys and today we're gonna be unveiling the brand new motor vlog helmet that we're gonna have for the channel and we got the Bell SRT modular helmet right here super super excited I haven't opened it up yet so what we're gonna do today is that we're gonna do an unboxing um, we're gonna try it on see how it feels and then we're gonna get on the road and give you guys a first impression feel of what the helmet is going to be like now i'm not going to strap on the uh, gopro right to the the front of the helmet today what i'm going to do is that i'm going to put the gopro on the bike so you're going to see that front view and then obviously because it's a modular i'll be able to lift it up and i'll be talking back and forth to you guys uh so that's that that's another cool thing so we'll get into it so we'll do the unboxing first i'm like super super excited for this because i've had quite a few helmets in the past few years and I've, I've been looking for like the perfect, perfect motor vlog helmet. And I gotta say, I was pretty happy with the built helmet that I had. Um, but obviously when I went down, that helmet got a bit banged up. So had to retire that one. And then lately what I've been using is the Rule Rock helmet, the 4.0, the Alice 4.0. Um, but that helmet is just a, a, a bit too noisy for me. I want something more comfortable, more suitable, more quiet for uh, those long distance rides. And uh, something's gonna be more more helpful when it comes to uh, the whole motor vlogging thing. So we got the box here. Um, nothing fancy, fancy, just an empty box. So throw that away. Comes wrapped up in the uh, helmet bag here. Um, as far as the bag cover goes so far, I mean, it's okay. It's, it's a bag cover. I mean, usually I use these things when I uh, fly out. Um, otherwise, I don't really use them. So you got the bell logo right there as well. Take that off and then we got it covered. And so let's unwrap this. Wow, this is nice. This is real nice, man. So obviously I wanted to do the black and red. You guys saw my logo, black and red. Um, the bike, I mean, my low rider rest is all black. The, the road glide is black and red. Kind of want to, you know, I, I don't want to get an all black helmet, you know? So this is definitely going to stand out. It looks really, really nice. First look impression, looks cool. Um, we're going to go over to all the, most of the details of what I know about the helmet so far. So you are going to have some ventilation coming in from the front. And then that's going to come out through the back exhaust of the back of the helmet. You're also going to have that up here in the front so you can close that up, open it up. you got more ventilation in there as well. So if you want to lift off your visor, lift it up right here. And let's see how many locks it has. So that's all the way up. Uh, we got one. Uh, two. So there's like basically two settings to lock it in place kind of. I wish it had a bit more. Um, another cool thing that it has is the drop down visor, which I'm a huge fan of. I had the drop down visor on my built helmet. I really like that thing a lot. So even on those really, really hot days where you're able to just lift up the visor, you drop this down just like that. And you're able to get a lot more breeze in there and still have your, your vision covered, which is pretty cool. That one's tinted. The visor that it comes with is just clear. You do have a panel vision, uh, pro tint visor, which means that it's clear at nighttime and then if you're gonna ride it during the day it automatically darkens up so it turns really dark so that's pretty cool so you can use it day and nighttime you all know that having a dark shield and then riding at nighttime is a hassle so you always got to carry like clear shades around you uh but that that's a cool visor which i'm gonna go out and buy next week and definitely add this on um but yeah and then obviously the coolest coolest part about this helmet is that you could just press this up and then half of the helmet just goes up leaving your whole face 
exposed now to make it a easier to communicate when you're at a stoplight and you want to talk to one of your buddies you're able to just flip this up you're able to talk back and forth if you have a performance cup holder then you can take a sip of your expensive coffee or your slurpee or whatever you want to drink on the road uh that's that or if you just want to spit something out like or chew some gum and spit it out or chew some tobacco whatever you want to do on the road you're able to do once you're lifting this up um i i gotta be honest a long time ago i wasn't a huge fan of these modular helmets as time went by i i kind of you know i like them a lot and i like what bell has to offer right here bell has a really really long history of making pretty good stuff this is my first bell helmet so i hope that i love it i hope that i like it and yeah nothing else left to say let's just try it on this being a bell helmet obviously is dot certified pretty nice looking helmet at that by the way it just looks really 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 nice um a few things that i want to find out about this helmet right now um is it quiet is it going to be easy to use on the road um and is it gonna be soft touch to the face? Sometimes we get those helmets and they're they're really not, they don't feel plush, they don't feel premium. So that's my main target with this helmet. I've never put one on before, it's my first time. Um, and no, this was not given to me. I bought this with my hard earned cash. So yes, like always, whether something's given to me or not, I always give you guys my full and honest opinion and review. On everything you are also gonna have those reflector pods in the back so while you're riding um, it'll be more so like that so at nighttime this will reflect with the lights making you more visible on the road here we go all right a it feels very very plush I got a size medium and as you can see this is real like nice and snug to the face um it was real easy to put on now if i want to take it off it's real easy my ears aren't hurting or anything like that not in the way give it a nice little there we go as you can see so it's not moving around my face so fitment it's perfect, so I was worried about that. So size medium, I, I, I would recommend measuring your head. I did measure my head and got the proper sizing when I looked at the chart on uh, online. So I did that. So this is a size medium, fits perfect. It feels plush, it feels nice to the face. Um, could it feel a bit more plusher? Yes. I mean, this feels nice, but could it feel more plush? and more premium maybe a tad bit but I'm, I'm really happy with the way this feels right now uh i gotta get used to the visor <sighs> holding having the clip in the front there because usually every helmet i have usually has it in the corner here so <clears throat> as far as it, as it going up and down closing real easy that's there now if i want to have access to the modular right now there we go that's easy <laughs> all the way up that's real easy to do so we'll close it show you guys again uh, boom press that lift nice so you got a nice little vision here of everything um i won't know if it's quiet until i get on the road right now so let's just get on the road and uh we'll, we'll keep talking about the helmet Definitely need that um, 
that darker shield, man. Ah, look at that, I can touch my face. One thing I was really worried about was uh, the peripheral vision, but it's really, really wide. I could literally see everything at the corner of my eyes, which is sometimes with helmets, it kind of, they mess that up a bit, um, but really good peripheral vision. It's quiet and uh, it's obviously really, really functional. Let's take it back to the uh, garage right now and finish everything. All right, so we're back from the first ride. Um, let's talk about a few things. Um, vision when it comes to your peripheral vision um, really good so some helmets you literally got to turn your head around a lot to see what's coming from behind you this you don't this has a nice wide open view of everything so if you just take a look over your shoulders real quick you'll see everything left and right so I really like that about it a lot it's pretty comfortable um, pretty quiet um, I'm not gonna say it is the quietest um the inside is soft it's plush could it be more plush yes like the cheek pads could have more of a softer touch some more plush everything looks real and feels real squishy in there it feels good on your face as well um i love the option that i could lift this up now man it's it's pretty cool um you're also gonna have that that chin curtain in there which you can remove as well um and then you can also remove everything inside in case you want to wash these things after a while if you sweat a lot they start to get real stinky so it is washable take everything out you're able to wash everything out um and yeah man i i like it i mean the only thing i gotta do right now is just buy that other windshield because i mean i'm not gonna rock around with this clear windshield also i found it real easy um to open and close the vents the top one and then the, the front one with my gloves on so that's a real real nice easy touch to it as well real easy to open the visor in the front as well and also from what i know these things are really easy just to pop open and change the visor you just gotta push this in and it pops out so that's that's gonna be pretty cool and then on top of that you are going to have that drop down visor which is tinted there we go. So that's real easy as well. You just move it and it falls right into place. Got to take that sticker off. <laughs> um, but it, it brings a lot, man. So for, for the for the price of this helmet, you're getting a lot. You're getting a, a real nice helmet. Um, first impressions, I like it. I really, really like it. I want to put some good miles into this. Then further down the line, give you guys uh, another review of what, what it feels like after a few thousand miles or, or so, whatever it is. Anyways, if you guys have any other questions about this helmet right here, go ahead, drop your thoughts and comments down below. Highly, highly recommend this. Anyways, guys, that's going to be it. If you want to see more content like this or more content on my Rogue Glide, my Lord Rider Ass, or my FXR, you're definitely in the right place. Go ahead, like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell button. That's going to notify you anytime I upload any type of new content. And like always, let the force be with you. Ride safe. Enjoy the ride, baby. Peace.